This was the saying of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and we also uh, heard in one of the teachings when he said, "The nikah for a man to get married and a woman to get married is actually my way. It is my sunnah. And whoever claims to be a Muslim and decides that oh, I don't want to get married, I want to be single, and all that." The only person is definitely not from my ummah. Why is this so, dear brothers and sisters in Islam? Because marriage is a safeguard for all of us. If you are not married, marriage is the only legal means by which a man and a woman can have sexual intimacy. Sexual intimacy outside of marriage is what? Haram. That is Islam. It is forbidden by Allah. And Allah specifically, hey, Jabba, Bawa, okay, okay, get over, sorry, we can't go more than ever to you. By the way, we're in a multicultural gathering, so please pardon me if I switch my tongue a little bit. I'm going to be going back and forth between English and uh, some other language, African, inshallah. Also, the only Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, let us know that in Islam, as we all know that, Islam is a religion that is so emphatic on family values. The family unit is so important in Islam that almost everything we do is woven around the family unit. And as such, you know, the Holy Prophet Wasallam mentioned to us that, you know, whomever Allah has blessed, if Allah has blessed the man, Allah will provide for him a pious wife, and if Allah gives him a pious wife, Allah has helped him in achieving 50% of his deen. If Allah bless you with a pious wife, Allah has helped you in observance and performance of 50% of your religious obligations. It is now on you to fear Allah regarding the remaining 50%. In other words, it will be much easier for you to practice Islam. Alhamdulillah Rabbi Alameen. Especially for our dear brother here who is so lucky. You are so lucky. We are happy for you for marrying an Islamic scholar. Takbir. So indeed, you are representing the saying of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu You have somebody who will reinforce your deen, your iman, if you are feeling weak or lacking in any area, Alhamdulillah, you have a shaykha in your house. Allah Akbar, MashaAllah, Alhamdulillah. So this is what the Holy Prophet is telling us. They have brothers and sisters in Islam. Marriage in Islam is a serious business. And it's a legal commitment according to the Sharia of Islam. A legal commitment between the husband and the wife and it comes with rights, roles, and responsibilities. The rights, the roles, and the responsibilities are all enforceable under the Sharia law. That is why marriage is a serious business. So the bride and the groom will be signing that contract officially. We're all witnessing that. But the ultimate witness to this union is who? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَتَقُوا اللَّهَ الَّذِي تَسَأَلُونَ بِهِ وَالْأَرْحَاقِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ كَانَ عَلَيْكُمْ رَقِيبًا Fear Allah. Be conscious of your duty to Allah. Be conscious of each other's right in this relationship. Be conscious of your role and responsibility in this relationship. And revere the womb that bore you. For surely Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watchful over you. Quickly, as a reminder once again to the couple, they've been through uh, several marital counseling, we'll talk about the primary responsibilities and role of each spouse in the married relationship. I'm going to start with the groom. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made him the president of his womb. You are the leader of the house. That's your primary responsibility. Whatever comes with the leadership responsibility falls on your shoulders. 
part of that leadership is your family looks up to you to be their provider. May Allah make it easy for you. May Allah bless you. You're going to be the one paying the bills. You're going to be putting food on the table. You're going to be doing the heavy lifting, mashallah. And I can see that ready for that. Right? <laughs> Allah will make it easy for you. It is not me that is giving you that responsibility to the so I didn't give you that title. Allah gave you that title and Allah will help you carry it. Because now you can live with love with nothing in the Muslim. Whatever body that you cannot show that, Allah will not place it on you. May Allah help you carry responsibility. Sister Faida. Your primary role and responsibility in your home, in your marriage, is to be loyal to your husband. You have to be obedient to him. You respect him. He deserves that, doesn't he? With all that responsibility that Allah has given to him, mashallah. You know, well, if you decide not to walk, you're fine. He will take care of you. Whatever you need to do, mashallah. So that's your right, by the way, and Allah will make it easy for him. So for that, he deserves your absolute respect, loyalty, and obedience. Number two, may Allah bless your union with uh, pious progeny, a lot of beautiful, uh, laugh-hearing uh, children, male and female. When that time comes, one of your primary responsibility is to take care of the children. You know, the responsibility of training the children largely falls on our mothers, the women, because they can do it better than women. Am I lying? Yes. That's a fact. We all know. So even though women will play a supportive role, but we know for a fact that you guys do like 90% of taking the children to school. And you are built for that. You wake up in the morning, you dress them up, you feed them, you take them to school, you still have to go to work, and you come back, you pick them up again, you cook for them, you go to their games, you help them with their homework. And we're in the same house, you're working, and I'm also working as a man, but you are doing all of those additional work. If I tried as a man for a week, I get burnt as I go, oh my God, I need help. <laughs> Take care. Allah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has built women and prepared them for that role. May Allah make it easy for you. You have to educate them. You have to train them. And you have to take care of the home, the home front. You have to make your home, the environment, the atmosphere has to be welcoming, has to be peaceful, has to be tranquil. You have to make your husband comfortable in your home. But like this is a big responsibility on the shoulder of the sisters. And we can understand this from one of the saying of your Prophet when he said, Adunya mata'un wa khayru mata'i dunya al mar'atu saliha. The only Prophet Muhammad said, you know what, the world is beautiful, the world is sweet and full of a lot of enjoyment, you know, cars, beautiful homes, comfort of life, but the best of the enjoyment of life is what? A pious wife. A pious wife. And that is tasking you to be that pious wife in your husband's home. Make that home happy. Make that home comfortable. And we all know, especially the elders here who have been married for long, if the house is comfortable, the house is happy, if it's tranquil, who's behind that? Who's responsible? The woman. I mean, Alhamdulillah, mashallah. And if it's the other way around too, who's going to be blamed? It's a man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a politician here. <laughs> I'm a politician. Are you from Nigeria? <laughs> oh my God. So, well, we leave that political <laughs> But the reality is, our mothers, you play a lot of role 
in what becomes of the home. If the home is happy, you are responsible. And if the home is not going the right way, you have the power to be able to turn it around. And that is what we are saying here. May Allah make it easy for you. There's no room for any other man in your life. There's no any male bestie. Let them go and find their own wife. <laughs> or something else, whatever. So you are married. No man should be looking at making Sister Fida his bestie. No, it is Haram. So your bestie is Ismail Abiola Allah. Uh, Allah. So take note of that. That is a very powerful requirement. And may Allah make it easy for you. Amen. Now, let's quickly talk about the rights of the spouses briefly as well. So we'll start with the groom. One of his primary rights in this relationship, like I said earlier, is that you obey him. You give him that obedience and respect and trust him that you will be in charge of the family as a real man that Allah has described is up to the task. And Allah will help him. And we can all see that Abiola, Ismail, Abiola himself, is a good Muslim brother by us, and he's ready to take on the task. So, so it is his right for you to respect him and obey him. Because I don't want somebody in my house, I don't want this person respect him for that. So follow his leadership, you know, obey him, respect him, and give him the honor that he deserves as a man. Also, we mentioned that, make his home comfortable for him. And finally, when he demands his biological right, please don't deny him. Who is laughing at you? Yes, they are getting the license to do it. They have the right to do it. If they are not married, you don't have the legal right to do it. Since they are married, yes, they have the legal right to do it. So when he demands the biological right, please give it to him. Don't deny it. No excuses, no complaints at all. So occasionally when you are tired, it's understandable. It will also you know, give you that break, but it is his right, and make sure he gets it. Don't deny him of the right and the diary. Then, as regards some of the rights of the wife in the marriage, Sister Fida, first of all, you're going to get something today, which I'm sure both of you have talked about, is the dower, you know, people call it dowry which is a natural gift that Islam has recommended uh, that a man gives a woman as a show of respect when he's taking her hands on marriage. And the Quran says, This is a you know, free gift that the groom has to give to the bride. So that gift, whatever you've decided you're going to give her, maybe it's a Bentley, Maybe the house is every year. I don't know what it is, or maybe you just put a four hundred million dollars in account. So whatever it is, once you have given that to her, it becomes a sole property. Right? Well, once you have given it to her, it becomes a property. That's a right. You cannot take it back no man. Unless she decides that she's gonna give you some of it. And that becomes a property, it becomes a right become ours to keep. Secondly, as part of our rights in the married relationship, she has a right to seek education. If she decides she wants to go to school, she wants to gain uh, more education, please support her, encourage her, don't say no. Number three, if she wants to have a business, you know, if she wants to engage in some sort of commerce, don't say no. Don't deprive her of that opportunity. So long as you know whatever she's doing does not infringe on a marital responsibility and her duties to you as a husband, please allow her to do that. So equally, she has a right uh, to own property. If she wants to own property, you know you can say, ah, oh, no, you can't have it and all that. You support her, you encourage her as your wife. So the essence is that you guys are building a family. You are building a home together with a common goal. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help you in that regard. 
also she has the right to inherit from her family, from her parents. So, you know, and I'm sure we are all aware of this, uh, according to the uh, Islamic Sharia law, you know, some, in some places when a woman marries, she's gone away, she doesn't have to look back to her family, she can, you know, come back and claim anything. That is not Islam. She has a right to, in fact, inherit from her parents. So nobody can deny her of that right. She equally has the right of free association with women. She can hang out with her female friends, pious, God-fearing, Muslim, so she can hang out with them and chat with them. There's nothing wrong in that. That's a right. So long as, and I'm sure that's a sheikh, huh? she doesn't keep bad uh, company, she doesn't have bad group. Alhamdulillah, we're happy for that. We know that for a fact. So yes, she does has a right of association with fellow women. And equally, she has a right to visit her family. Because she's married, doesn't mean she can no longer talk to her uncle, she can no longer talk to her parents or brothers or people in her family. But, you know, Sister Fire always make sure if you are talking to a man that's from your family, make sure it's a man that your husband knows. Don't be talking to somebody as a wizard, his brother, so all of your uncle, he needs to know them. He needs to know your cousins, your, you know, I want a bad bar for him, so that there will not be conflict. So, inshallah, but of course, you do have rights to relate with your family. Those are some of your rights in this uh, relationship. And the rights uh, of maintenance, we've talked about that. The brothers and sisters in Islam, especially the bride and the groom, these rights are taken serious by Islam. They are enforceable under the Sharia. As a husband, you're expected to the best of your ability to do your best to take care of your family. And the same thing goes for Sister Fire. I mean, I'll help you in this regard. I'm sure and I pray that we don't get anything other than obedience to the commandment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Mijai Surah al Nasr. Bismillah rahman rahim Sister Fida, this marriage, is this something that you approve of? Is it coming from your mind or somebody is pushing you to do this? Is this your own decision? Yes. Alhamdulillah. Let's let's make sure it's coming. Yes, say yes. <laughs> is it your decision? Is it coming from your own mind? <laughs> Now, we are going to the Wali, and our Wali today is uh, their brother, their Alpha, their scholar, uh, Aji Sa'id Alabi, is the uncle to the bride, is uh, standing in for the father, for the grandfather today, Alhamdulillah, Rabbi Alameen. Yeah, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, when she told me about uh, Ismail, I invited him over from Austin, and we prayed together. So what happened in life was very, very religious and I'm so, so proud of what his mind is actually being part of her. Uh, so you know, more for our problems and that was, uh, you see what you're looking for, what are you waiting for? And uh, Alhamdulillah, he actually executed that. Uh, he did it in a very perfect and uh, moderate way uh, from all the families and everybody involved. Uh, I'm so proud of uh, the family that raised uh, his mind. You raised him so well. So I took all the responsibility. Alhamdulillah, he's a very good man. And that was yes. 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 Yes.
smarter than me. <laughs>
I pray for the young couple. As you guys start your journey today, may Almighty Allah be with you, Amen. guide you, Amen. protect your household with Aramon and Zakinat. May you prosper in every aspect of life. Amen. May Almighty Allah bless you guys with as they are praying twins. Side that is starting with twins. A girl and a boy. May Almighty Allah provide for you. <laughs> we are here, don't worry. We have your brother. Sister Silva is there for you. We are all here for you. Inshallah, we grant to life. Your, your union will be blessed with everything that you imagine and beyond. Our brother blessed him. Inshallah, we grant to life. We all love you. Our brother Daniel, we don't even need to talk about you. Uh, you will continue to uh, increase in knowledge, wisdom, and every way that you will uh, Andrew, build your home. Allah will guide you to build your home. As you are going to be, it's not easy to say that. I find that. It's not easy. But Allah is with you. You are a child of God. You are you. I know you are not fair. But God will paint your home for you. I pray for your union. Be blessed with two kids and everything. In the name of Almighty Allah, I pray. Amen. I refer to you. I I met Faida through my wife. She <laughs> finished MPH from uh, CSUN. And uh, we had very short notice today, about one hour we had to be ready to be here. And this is my day off today, so I told my wife, let's go, because it's going to make something different for her, because we are from the different community. But end of the day, we are Muslim, we have to support our Muslim sister to get married. And this is blessing for her. and. Uh, <coughs> To see this blessing day, I'm really proud of it and Alhamdulillah to Very briefly, I just want to say a few words. Um, yeah, it's my Abiola is my well, this is my wife, uh Rumi, Abiola. Um, this is a beautiful couple. I've known this man for several years, he's an amazing young man. Uh, I've met my dad recently and I think she's one of the most pleasant you know, young ladies I've ever met. She's beautiful. She, I mean, I, I, I've only seen her smile. Like, you know, when you meet a lady several times and she's never angry or she's never frowning, I think we are happy that we have, you know, an in-law that will, make, you know, bring us a lot of joy. We are really happy for her. I pray for you guys. Um, marriage is not easy. You know, we've been in the business uh, for a while. Uh, it takes, <laughs> yes, so it takes a lot of patience and forbearance, and you have to keep forgiving, you have to keep forgiving. Yeah, I'm going to call this, I'm going to tell the brother. It's only special for prayers. What is the happiness, the love, the blessing, and the peace, and the love for them to be with them? Amen. Uh, and the fact, uh, Alhamdulillah that I witnessed this, why is that? I mean, she's a darling daughter. She is a very pleasant. As uh, my brother said earlier, that uh, you never ask if I get angry. And uh, I don't know the young man very well, but looking at him, I think he's gonna take care of my daughter. <laughs> Especially somebody who came from where I left. You know, I left Texas to come here. So you chase me and my daughter. <laughs> so find out, I wish you all the best. And it's my aim. You guys are you are perfect because from hearing from others, not from you directly, but from others who have spoken about you. My uh, brother here spoke highly of you and I'm very, very happy to meet you. Assalamu alaikum. I 
happened to uh, have met Sister Fire that for, uh, through uh, one of uh, through her brother, my friend uh, Ruan. And uh, she is a very nice young woman. She has been very helpful. Um, she she is a pleasant person, a good person to interact with. Able to ask questions when you need help, when you don't understand things. I pray to Allah that um, He grants you the strength, the patience, and um, the fortitude to be able to withstand whatever challenges come your way. I pray that Allah grants you the patience for it and the, the wisdom to navigate the, these challenges. It's just great to see both of them because I mean, the first time they started talking, I mean, he talk to his boys, you know. No. <laughs> so it's like, you know what, you know, I'm talking to this person and you know, I really like her, you know, her personality is really good. She doesn't think like the other ladies. She's just different. Like, you know what, go for what you like, man. And ever since, it's just been like that. And it's just, you know, for him, it's just an intelligent person. Ever since I've known him, he's made the you know, right decisions. And, you know, we work on you know, the same company and we, we talk a lot about life, you know, marriage, and, you know, we're not married, but, you know, we just, you know, trying to know more about, you know, marriage and stuff, so. Now you have a reference for this. <laughs> and, you know, Friday I met her, like, for, um, um, I think about two, three months ago, and, you know, like, Uncle said earlier that she smiles, you know, she's always happy, she's always ready to go, and she's very social as well, too, so, I mean, she's just that person that brings, you know, happiness into the room as well, um, so I'm happy to see them, you know, um, get married today and I just want to pray that you know whatever you know your heart desires is that God Almighty will provide that for you guys as well. Congratulations to you both. Sister Fida, you're a gem. Brother Ismael, you're very lucky. With all my tail I can tell you to bless you both. Grant you both happiness, peace and tranquility in your home. With all my tail I give you the strength to tolerate each other during the good times and the bad. Um, may all my tell I give you the ability to respect both of both e respect each other, be patient with both of uh, with each other and uh, may all my tell I grant you guys children, healthy children and if you need help we're always here. I can mean, babysit whenever you need. She can come play with Naya and um, I wish you all the best, inshallah. I want to thank first uh, Mommy Rabba, Olabanji and Daddy Olabanji for creating an amazing daughter. Someone who became my sister, someone who brought me closer to Allah. So I'm forever thankful for you. And Ismail, you're very, very lucky, Alhamdulillah, for getting someone like Faida. And I ask you that you take care of her and cherish her because you're taking away me from, you're taking away her from me. <laughs> That's true. So please take care of her. And Fida, I love you so much. You're amazing and I bless you and may Allah give you barak and happiness forever. Assalamu alaikum. You know, it's a very small world. Uh, so many years ago, I met you. I don't want to say how many years, almost 40 years. When I was working with the Roscoe Junior Fund in Joss, uh, Al-Haji Ahmed T. Jari Suleiman, my namesake, happened to be here on behalf of Al-Haji uh, Sahid. So we just met right now. And I says, I know you. And he said, yes. From what we just? I said, yes. And I said, with the Roscoe Junior Fund? He said, yeah. So I let him speak. May God bless this union. Amen. May God bless the, the husband and wife. And uh, I saw that Al Hadi Saeed was a little hesitant when he was giving away his daughter. And I said, Well, you are not losing anything because in return you might be getting many grandchildren like I have. So you are getting more, you are not losing. So I let Al Hadi Saeed say something. Assalamu alaikum. I know uh, Saeed and his wife for a very long time. We used to, uh, I mean, we went to the same mosque in Granada. Uh, and Faiza has been like uh, a daughter, a granddaughter to me. Uh, uh, today, you know, I got invited by my son who has been very close to Faiza. And I'm very happy to be here. 
and I wish them the best of luck. May Allah bless this union. Amen. Inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Shukran jazeelan. I don't want to give you all this to my sister. That's so nice and lovely. I'm going to give you the name of his actress. Okay? I've known Fida for almost how many years now? 23 years, okay? 20. So, um, I'm so happy to see Tosin at home for a very stubborn sister. So, I'm all the other sister. So, again, like I said, I've seen her home, and it's so amazing. When she told me about his smile, I was kind of surprised because, you know, I thought that my older sister would never get married. She's going to be lying to this girl. So, I have the right to see at home. Well, that's something that Professor Ed Farmer said is good for us. And again, again, we're not from a smile. We try to start by point of view and perspectives, one of the others. So I come to them, I'm so happy. Uh, I wish them all the best. I don't know anything about marriage, so I'm going to learn from you guys. I'm going to watch you guys do it, and I'm excited to see that. But all I have to say is love each other. You guys are one. And as a professor, so I'm saying, don't be afraid to ask for help. There's lots of more experienced people here that have been through this, and it's never going to be easy. That's how life is, and it's going to take a different journey. But as long as you have yourself and a lot, it's all going to work out well. So I thank you for this. Thank you, Barakallah. Good brother. You didn't tell us about the pillow fights and all that. Actually, we're having We moved from Minnesota. Uh, last year, just a year now, and it's my move to Austin when I left. It's my little brother, stayed with me, and I want you to be rest assured for you that I can tell you so much about my brother. I can tell you how many friends they had while we were in Minnesota. For a while, he was there for six years. I can tell you how many friends, girls, that are his friends. So be rest assured you're in safe hands. Like they said, my husband said it all about him. And I know your sister is a little bit emotional. I want you to uh, trust God that everything will be well. I pray that the Lord himself will take care of uh, by that uh, we don't have any power of our own. And I pray that this union will blossom in love, in peace, and even in plenty to your widest imagination. Uh, long. I, I'm a Christian, so if you're wondering why I'm not speaking uh, Islamic, but I'm a Christian, but I'm born, I was born in Muslim, so I can still say some. Yeah. Okay. So uh, Let me I want to thank everyone, and most importantly, I want to thank God Almighty for making it a day. I'm proud to be a sister. I'm proud that my brother could come this far. I see so many friends, and Minnesota will tell me your brother is so cool-headed. You're lucky. I want to say thank you for being a good brother, for listening, for the counsel. Uh, if I had said something yesterday, I personally packed our uh, baggage. I packed our baggage myself. And she told me to help because she did Anna. Anna, she can't touch nothing. Auntie, Auntie, please. I say you're my sister. You're my wife. I will do everything. So uh, I want to thank your parents back there in Nigeria. Thank you for everything. Uh, we pray that the one we are hoping to have will be great, great, will be gracious, just like this is. Thank you so much, everyone, for coming. And we pray that uh, as you journey back home, it will be safe uh, travel uh, by God's grace. And I want to say,
Everybody's happy, I'm happy, she's happy. So. It's a good day to me today and I want to take my parents and everyone and Alhamdulillah, I met someone amazing. So yes, Alhamdulillah, I'm good and happy, so excited and I thank Allah for everything. I just want to say thank you very much to everyone. For coming in from different locations. For viewing us on, uh, on, online. Flying all over the world, like all over the places. I want to say thank you so much everyone and I'm glad that you're here and it really means a lot for you guys being here.